Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Treasure of San Bosco Reef. The Treasure of San Bosco Reef is a 1968 television release about a boy named David and his uncle trying to solve who is stealing their dive treasure from them. It is directed by Robert L. Friend, cinematography by Frank V. Phillips, editing by Marsh Hendry, music by Robert F. Brunner, and it's written by Maurice Tombrugal. The film stars Roger Mobley as Dave Jones, James Daly as Uncle Max, Anthony Alda as Gus, and Nehemiah Persoff as Captain Malcioni. I'd say cinematography for the most part was standard for the time, except the underwater stuff. The underwater stuff was stunning. It reminded me of, I can't remember the name of the movie. I really want to say Hamad and the River Pirates. The one where they did all the pearl diving. All the underwater stuff in that movie was excellent and it reminded me, this movie reminded me of that. And I think all of the underwater stuff was stunning and really well done, especially for 1968. While it was very obvious that this was two episodes, the, the version I watched, it was actually just the two episodes. I didn't stitch it together to make it one succinct movie. I do think the through line plot was maybe a little bit more cohesive than some of the other movies we watched that are two episodes. This one, they just solve like a first part of the mystery, like who they catch who was like actively stealing their stuff, but then they realize it's probably part of a bigger plot because like someone was dead at the beginning, right? So it it just continues like they solve the first part of the mystery, but they have to solve the rest of the mystery in the second episode. So I feel like it carried the through line really well in both episodes. I actually really liked the story of this. I thought it was a good little mystery, kept me guessing. I wasn't entirely sure who it was gonna be or how many of them it was gonna be. I liked that we were trying to like, you know, solve who's trying to steal a treasure and who's murdering these people. And it felt <clears throat> kind of like adultish while still being like kiddish friendly with Dave and Gus. Um, this, I wouldn't say this is like a hidden gem, like it didn't super like surprise me and make me fall in love with it, but it was definitely like above average for the movies that were like this at the time, I'd say. I'd say my favorite part is the underwater fight. It was just so excellent being underwater and then above water and the knife and the, the, the scuba gear and Roger Mobley, I was stressed for him because he didn't have air and was under there doing all the things. My least favorite part is probably the police captain being an absolute freaking turd blossom. I would recommend giving this a watch if you're interested in old Disney movies like this and the ones that are like kind of above average or on the better end, I would recommend this. I probably won't watch it again. I love to say if I had a friend who desperately wanted to watch this, of course I'd watch it again. It was not like something I will actively avoid, but I'm never gonna be like, I wanna watch The Treasure of San Bosco Reef. You know what I mean? Specific moments, I would have to say them using the air to get any kind of pot to float up to the surface blew my mind. What? You learn something new every day. I couldn't believe that. Um, the amount of short shorts, the 60s was a time. I was obsessed. I loved it. It was amazing to see them all in their little short shorts. Um, Davy Jones is the kid's name. Come on. That, purposeful. Um, the lobster hunting, that was crazy. And then there's a random detective in this, like some dude in a trench coat that is in it for like three scenes and you never see him again. He doesn't even speak. He's just like following the kids and then you never see him again. They don't do anything with it. So I'm, I, I it was hilarious. I have no idea what he was there for, um, but it was very comical. Um, overall, like I've already mentioned, it was decent. It was above average, I'd say. I don't think it was like some beautiful hidden gem, but it definitely is above average for what we saw in the 60s in this exact same regard where they catch a crime, etc. My final rating for this is six scuba tanks out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent Death Toll and Craig Connors are the same. I'm pretty sure the Parent Death Toll is the same. If you wanna keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on all the socials. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. Join Patreon, you got a tier starting at just $1. You get every video a week early, a coupon code for merch and exclusive access to merch. And just, it's a good time, go join it. September trivia is all video trivia. It took me forever. Please join the $5 tier and come, like participate in trivia, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Buy merch, merch is great, merch is grand. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not in charge of real life, you are, so do you. And don't be whatever the guy's name was, the professor who wasn't actually the professor about it. <laughs>